How, how bloody is this going to get? Redistricting is a really challenging process, and tensions usually do get pretty high among the legislators and other interest groups who are concerned about their communities or special mm -hmm. interests. And then here you have also the fact that we have a Democrat legislature in the majority and a Republican governor. A redistricting bill must be handled the same way as any other state mm -hmm. legislation. It passes the House, it passes the Senate, it goes upstairs to the governor for signature. So you have all these different contending interests and mm -hmm. opinions, and they have to pass a bill that they can all live with. And if these guys can play together nicely and get something done, then we were what, what was referenced earlier this morning, the, then the chances of frivolous lawsuits and, uh, and taxpayers getting stuck with the bill are greatly reduced if, if everyone's able to get on the same page and pass a law. Sure, there are two ways you could have litigation. One, if there's an impasse and the legislature governor can't agree and they keep vetoing bills. The second way is if the legislature passes a plan that the governor signs, it just has some legal issues. Either way can get you to court. Hopefully the legislature or the governor will be able to come to terms, pass a plan. It is their responsibility, not the court's responsibility, to draw lines. So hopefully they can do their job.